All right, what's going on, guys? Today I'm gonna be breaking down the NBA slate for Sunday, March 19th. I'm sorry for no video yesterday. Uh, I got a little busy and I didn't have time to make a video. Uh, but we're back today, breaking down Sunday slate. Uh, we got a five-game slate on for this Sunday. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, your top point guard on the slate is Kyrie Irving. Uh, right now he's listed as out on Yahoo because he did rest on Saturday, but he is expected to play today. And he does get a really good matchup against the Lakers. Um, the only thing that's going to keep me away from Kyrie today is his price. Uh, he's way too expensive on Yahoo, in my opinion. So I'm probably not going to be playing him on Yahoo. I think he's a little bit too expensive, but this is a really good matchup against the Lakers. Um, if he is cheap on other sites, I like him there, but probably won't be playing him, him, playing him on Yahoo. Uh, under Kyrie, for a dollar cheaper, you got Damian Lillard against Miami. Um, this isn't that great of a matchup. Miami's pretty solid defensively against the point guard, but I do like Lillard's price tag, and he's been playing very well as of late. Um, if you want to pay up for point guard on this slate, I do think he is in play. He can get you 40 fantasy points in this matchup, which is good for his price. So I like Lillard. I think he's in play. Uh, Ricky Rubio against New Orleans. Probably not going to go there on the slate. Uh, Rubio did have a bad game last time out, and his price increased to $35. So I'm probably not going to be on Rubio. Um, if I'm going to attack that price range at point guard, I'd much rather take the guy for $2 cheaper, and that's Goran Dragic against Portland. Uh, Deion Waiters is going to be out for this game, so that that's going to mean uh, more shots to go around for all the Heat players. So Dragic is going to get a little bit of extra shots. And at $33, I think he's a really good play on Yahoo. Uh, this is a terrific matchup against the Trailblazers. They're uh, one of the worst teams defensively against the point guard. Uh, Damian Lillard is not a good defender. So I really like Dragic at point guard. He's probably going to be the point guard that I target on this slate. I think he can easily get you 30 fantasy points, which is good for his price, and he does have 40 to 50 point upside, so I really like Dragic on this slate. Uh, he's probably going to be the point guard that I target. Under him, you got Drew Holiday against Minnesota. I'm um, probably not going to be targeting Holiday on this slate. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins is expected to be back for this game, so that's, that's going to really hurt Holiday, and I don't like this matchup either. Minnesota is pretty solid against the point guard, so I'm not going to be on Holiday. For a dollar cheaper, you got D'Angelo Russell against Cleveland. Uh, probably not going to go there either. Uh, Russell's minutes have started to trend down, and he's starting to play off the bench as well. And I'm not a big fan of that price tag either at $29. Uh, so I'm not going to be on Russell. Jeff Teague against Toronto. I really like this matchup for Jeff Teague. Uh, he's going to be going up against Corey Joseph, and Joseph is not a good defender. And I'm a big fan of Teague's price tag at $26. I think he can easily pay off that price given the matchup. Uh, so if you're targeting the mid-range, I really like Jeff Teague. I think he's in play. And then for value, I like Jordan Clarkson against Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland really struggles defensively against the point guard. Uh, Clarkson's price has risen to $18, but with the way he's been playing and how many minutes he's playing, I, I definitely think he is in play. He can easily pay off that price tag given this matchup. Now that the Lakers are starting to play their younger guys a lot more, uh, Clarkson's getting about 35 minutes just about every night. And if he plays 35 minutes in this matchup, he can easily pay off that price tag. So I do like Jordan Clarkson for value on this slate. Also like Tyler Johnson for a dollar cheaper. Uh, like I said earlier, Deion Waiters is going to be out for the Heat. So that's going to be more shots to go around and a little bit more usage to go around. And Tyler Johnson will soak up soak up some of, that, some of those shots and some of that usage. And Johnson has been playing pretty well as of late in his last two games, putting up 31 and 30 fantasy points. So I like him as well at only $17. I think he can easily pay off that price tag. Given the matchup against uh, Portland, they really struggle against the point guard. So I like Johnson for value. And one more value play I like is Corey Joseph against Indiana. Uh, Corey Joseph is very cheap on Yahoo at only $14. Uh, given this matchup against Indiana, he can easily pay off that price tag. He only has to get you 20 to 25 fantasy points to pay that off. And he can easily do that against the Pacers. They're not good defensively against the point guard. And Joseph has been playing pretty well as of late. At scoring 24 and 25 fantasy points in his last two games. And at only $14, he only has to get you about 20 to 25 to pay off his price. And I think he can easily do that at home against the Pacers. Uh, so I also like Corey Joseph for value on this slate. I think he's in play. But yeah, that's pretty much it for point guard. Let's go ahead and move on to shooting guard. All right, your top shooting guard on the slate is DeMar DeRozan. Um, he gets a really good matchup against Indiana. They really struggled defensively against the shooting guard. And DeRozan's price has dropped to $42 on Yahoo, which is very appealing. Uh, if you want to pay up for point guard, DeRozan is definitely in play on this slate. Um, I'm really liking his price on Yahoo. Uh, he hasn't been playing that well lately, but I definitely think he, he can pay off that price tag given this matchup. He could get you 40 fantasy points. Uh, so I do like DeRozan on this slate. I think his price has gotten to the point where you can play him, especially on Yahoo. I'm not sure what his price is on other sites, but on Yahoo, I think he's in play. Under him, I also really like CJ McCollum against Miami. 
Uh, McCollum has been playing very well as of late, and he's pretty cheap on Yahoo at only $33. He can easily pay off this price tag given the matchup. Uh, the Heat really struggled defensively against their shooting guard. So I definitely think McCollum is in play as well if you want to pay up at shooting guard. Um, there are really only two shooting guards at the top option. You either got DeRozan or McCollum, or you're going to pay down for some value guys. But if you want to pay up, both of them are definitely in play. And then for value guys, I like Jordan Crawford against Minnesota. Uh, Crawford has been a little inconsistent lately, but and his minutes have also been pretty inconsistent. But given this matchup against Minnesota, I, I think he is in play at $14. Uh, he only has to get 20 to 25 fantasy points to pay off that price tag, and he can do that against the Timberwolves. They're not good defensively against the shooting guard. The only thing I worry about when rostering Crawford is his minutes. If he gets the minutes, he'll be able to pay off his price tag, but that's not a guarantee. He's a little bit too risky for cash games, but for tournaments, if his shot's fallen, he can put up 30 fantasy points, so I like Crawford for cheap value. Also at the minimum price, I do like Monte Ellis against Toronto. Ellis has been playing well as of late. In his last two games, he scored 22 and 27 fantasy points. Um, I would probably only play Ellis in tournaments because his minutes are very inconsistent. But if he gets the minutes, he does have really good upside in this matchup. So I like Ellis for tournaments. If you need a cheap shooting guard for uh, GPPs, he does have good upside. He can go for over 25 to 30 fantasy points. Uh, so if you need a cheap shooting guard on the slate, I do like Monte Ellis. I think he's in play. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for shooting guard. Uh, there really isn't much value here. I think you're just going to be paying up for DeRozan or McCollum. But if you don't want to pay up and you need to save, I do like Crawford and I like Monte Ellis. I like them two on the cheaper end, but I'm probably just going to be paying up for DeRozan or McCollum. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to small forward. All right, the top of the small forward list, got LeBron James against the Lakers. Um, I really like this matchup for LeBron. Um, like I said earlier with Kyrie Irving, LeBron is also listed as out on Yahoo because he did rest Saturday, but he is expected to play today against the Lakers. If he does play, I really like him in this matchup. Um, the only thing that's going to keep me away from LeBron is the blowout concern. The Cavs could run the Lakers out of the building. Uh, this could this game could be over by the first half. So that's the only thing that's going to keep me away from LeBron. But if this game somehow manages to stay close, LeBron could absolutely go off. Um, there's nobody on the Lakers that's going to be able to stop LeBron. So if you want to pay up, I definitely think he is in play. Um, I'm, just, I'm not sure if I'm going to play him. I'm worried about the blowout concern, but he is the top stud on this slate, in my opinion. He does have crazy upside in this matchup as this, if this game manages to stay close. So I do like LeBron on this slate. I uh, also like Ka Kawhi Leonard against Sacramento. Um, I'm not a big fan of Kawhi's price tag at $50. I don't think I'm going to be playing him at that price tag. Uh, with L LaMarcus Aldridge coming back and Tony Parker coming back as well, I don't think Kawhi is going to be in play at $50. Um, I'm not sure what his price is on other sites, but on Yahoo, I'm not going to be playing him. I would much rather just try and find $6 and get to LeBron. At the mid-range, you got Paul George against Toronto. I uh, like this matchup for George. He is a little expensive on Yahoo at $38, but he has been playing very well as of late. I think he can, he can definitely pay off that price tag in this matchup. He only has to get you about 40 fantasy points, and he can do that against the Raptors. So I like PG on this slate. I think he is in play. Andrew Wiggins against New Orleans. Um, I, I like Wiggins' price tag at $35, but he has really been struggling lately. Uh, he has picked it up, though, in his last two games, scoring 31 and 32 fantasy points. And this is a really good matchup against the Pelicans. They really struggled defensively against the small forward. Uh, so I, I do like Wiggins on this slate. I think he's in play at $35. He can pay off that price tag given this matchup. And if you need some value at the small forward position, I like Brandon Ingram against the Cavs. Um, Ingram has been playing heavy minutes now that the Lakers are starting to get their younger guys a lot more run. Ingram is pretty much locked in for 30 minutes just about every night. I don't really like this matchup against the Cavs, but with the amount of minutes Ingram plays, he can easily pay off his price at only $14. He only has to get you about 20 to 25 fantasy points to pay that off. And with the amount of minutes he plays, he can definitely do that. So I do like Ingram on the slate for value. I think he's in play. Also at the minimum price, I do like Shabazz Muhammad against New Orleans. Uh, with Bielitsa out for the season, uh, Muhammad's really going to have to step up and play more minutes. In his last two games with Bielitsa out, he's played 31 and 27 minutes and put up 28 and 18 fantasy points. Uh, at the minimum price, he only has to get you about 20 fantasy points to pay off his price tag. And he can easily do that against the Pelicans. Uh, like I said, they really struggled defensively against a small forward. So if you need some value at small forward, I do like Muhammad. I definitely think he is in play. He can easily pay off that price tag given this matchup, so I like him. And yeah, that's pretty much it for small forward. Let's go ahead and move on to power forward. All right, the top of the power forward list, you got Anthony Davis against Minnesota. Um, I really like this matchup for AD. Minnesota's not that good defensively against the power forward. 
Uh, but with Boogie coming back for this game, I'm probably not going to be on AD, not at $54. I don't think he's worth the play with Boogie out there. I don't think he's going to be able to pay off that price tag. So I'm not going to be on AD. Under him, you got Kevin Love against the Lakers. Um, I really like this matchup for Love, but I'm not going to be playing him at $40, especially since he is coming back from his injury. He might he might still be on a minutes restriction, so I'm not going to be playing Kevin Love. I think he's too expensive, and he's too risky as well. Under him, I do like Julius Randle against Cleveland. Um, Kevin Love isn't that good of a defender, and uh, Randle has been playing very well as of late. He's pretty cheap as well at only $30. I think he can pay off that price tag given this matchup. So I do like Randall. If you're wanting to pay up at power forward, I think he's in play. Uh, he can easily pay off that price tag against the Cavs. They really struggle against the power forward. Also really like LaMarcus Aldridge against Sacramento. Um, Aldridge is very cheap on Yahoo at only $27. Uh, he only has to get you about 30 fantasy points to pay off that price tag. And he can easily do that against the Kings. They're really bad defensively. So I really like LMA on the slate. He's probably going to be the power forward that I target. Uh, I think he's way too cheap for this matchup. I really like him for cash games just because he's so consistent. He does have pretty solid upside in this in this game if this game stays close. So I like Aldridge for cash games. Also like him for tournaments too because he does have pretty good upside. Serge Ibaka against Indiana. Uh, I like this matchup for Ibaka, but he's really been inconsistent lately. And if I'm paying that price tag for a power forward, I would much rather have Aldri Aldridge for just two dollars more. So I'm not going to be on Ibaka. Uh, James Johnson against Portland. I like this matchup for Johnson. Uh, with Deion Waiters out, uh, Johnson's going to have to take a little bit more shots offensively as well. He's going to get a little bit more usage. So I do like him at the mid-range. I think he's in play at only $22. He can really he can easily pay off that price tag given this matchup against Portland. They're not good defensively against the power forward. So I do like Johnson at the mid-range. I think he is in play. And yeah, that's pretty much it for power forward. Um, there really isn't much value here. I think you're either going to be paying up for AD or Randall. Or at the mid-range, you're just going to take LMA or James Johnson. I think those are the four guys you want to target at power forward. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to center. All right, your top center on the slate is DeMarcus Cousins. Um, he gets a pretty solid matchup against the Timberwolves. They're not good defensively against the center. Uh, Cat's not that good of a defender. Uh, but I doubt I'm going to be playing Boogie at $52. I don't think he's going to be able to pay off that price tag. Um, so I'm not going to be on him. Under Boogie, I do like Carl Anthony Towns against New Orleans. Um, I don't really like this matchup, but Cat has been very consistent as of late. His price has risen to $50, which is a little expensive, but he does have really good upside in this matchup, and he has a pretty solid floor as well. So I like Cat. If you're wanting to pay up at center, I think he's the center you should target if you pay up. He can pay off his price tag in this matchup, so I do like him. Also really like Hassan Whiteside against Portland. Um, this isn't that good of a matchup. Uh, Yusuf Nurkic is a pretty solid defender, but Whiteside is very cheap on Yahoo at only $37. And he's been playing very well as of late. On uh, his last five games, he's put up 39, 36, 51, 41, and 45 fantasy points. So I really like Whiteside. If you want to pay up at center, he, he would be the center I would target if you pay up. Especially on Yahoo, he's just way too cheap. He can easily pay off his price tag, so I do like Whiteside. Also like Yusuf Nurkic in that same game. Uh, Hassan Whiteside is not a good defender. And Nurkic is pretty cheap on Yahoo at only $27. And he has been playing very well as of late, scoring 36 and 41 fantasy points in his last two games. So if you want to attack the mid-range at center, I do like Yusuf Nurkic. He can easily get you 30 fantasy points in this matchup, which is good for his price tag. So I like him. He's in play. Also like Miles Turner against Toronto. Uh, Turner is very cheap on Yahoo at only $22. He only has to get you about 25 to 30 fantasy points to pay off his price tag. And I definitely think he can do that. He has been playing very well as of late. So I also really like Miles Turner at the mid-range. I definitely think he is in play on this slate, especially on Yahoo. He's really cheap there. And then on the cheaper end, I do like Evika Zubak against Cleveland. Uh, Zubak's minutes are starting to trend up now that the Lakers are starting to play their younger guys a lot more. And Zubak has moved into the starting lineup as well. I don't really like this matchup against the Cavs. Uh, Tristan Thompson's a pretty good defender. But Zubak is way too cheap on Yahoo at only $13. Uh, he only has to get you about 25 fantasy points to pay off that price tag. And I definitely think he can do that. So I do like Zubak. If you're wanting to pay down at center, I think he's in play. Um, especially on Yahoo, he's way too cheap there. He can easily pay off that price tag. So I like Zubak if you need some value at center. But yeah, that's pretty much it for center. I'm um, going ahead and give you guys my starting five. All right, guys, so this is my starting five for the NBA slate on Sunday, March 19th. If you guys want my full updated lineup before lock, then follow me on Twitter and message me on Twitter, and I'll be sure to get you a lineup. 
Whether you play on Yahoo, FanDuel, or DraftKings, I give out lineups for those three sites. So if you play on one of those three sites, then you can get my lineups. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching the video. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed. If you never want to miss out on a video, then please be sure to click the bell icon next to my YouTube name and you'll get a notification every time I upload. So if you never want to miss out on a video, then please be sure to do that. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Good luck. Girl on the train, I know you're just a stranger What is your name, where are you going?